George Russell was called up to Mercedes for the Secure Grand Prix to replace seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, who tested positive for COVID-19. But how did the driver for Kings Lynn do on his debut for the Silver Arrows? In Friday practice, Russell impressed by setting the fastest time in both free practice sessions. In FP1, he was just under 0.2 seconds ahead of Red Bull's Max Verstappen and over 0.3 seconds ahead of his teammate Valtteri Bottas. On Friday afternoon, he topped FP2 ahead of Verstappen, who was just over 0.1 seconds behind. Bottas ended the session down in 11th place, 0.6 seconds behind Russell. Moving on to Saturday and Bottas was able to hit back at Russell, beating him in the session as he finished 0.2 seconds behind Verstappen. Russell finished down in 7th place, 0.6 seconds behind Verstappen. In qualifying it was advantage Bottas as he set the fastest time in Q1, with Verstappen ending Q2 as the fastest man on track. In the final qualifying session it was Bottas who narrowly beat Russell Verstappen to pole with the three drivers separated by only 0.056 seconds. Moving on to the Grand Prix and it was Russell who made a flying start, racing off into the distance by the end of the first sector before the safety car was brought out. As Bottas came under pressure from the drivers behind, Russell kept extending his lead out front. But Russell would be on the receiving end of some awful Mercedes coordination as he fell out the wrong tyres on his car after Jack Aitken who was driving Russell's normal car, crashed and brought out the safety car. Russell then had to put the following lap to correct the mistake and this left him in the middle of the pack with work to do. After an incredible overtaking Bottas, Russell got himself back into second before F1 fans were heartbroken when Bono came onto the team radio and said, left rear puncher, causing Russell to pit yet again and drop out of the points. He did manage to claw his way back up the order and finish in ninth place, scoring his first World Championship points with three, but it should have been all 25. Russell has showed his ability in this race and it really puts Mercedes under pressure to quickly make a decision about his future. The Silver Arrows have already confirmed Bottas will be racing for the next season, with Russell continuing alongside Nicholas Latifi and Williams. Mercedes do have a vacancy for next season, but it is highly expected that Lewis Hamilton will sign the contract as he goes for his 8th championship next season. Russell needs to be in that Mercedes as soon as possible or he will get fed up and the likes of Red Bull may try and break his contract with Mercedes. He is a very talented driver with championship winning mentalities and if he can perform again next season for Williams as he has for the past two then Mercedes need to give him a chance because he is the heir to the Hamilton throne and that might not end the way Mercedes want if they try to keep one of the best drivers in the grid in the slowest car. We are still unsure if Hamilton will return for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and it is possible that Russell will be back in the Mercedes car. If he is, the vast majority of the F1 community will be willing him on as he goes for his maiden victory, which he missed out on due to errors out of his control. Russell was able to jump into the Mercedes and set leading times right from lap 1 and this shows the talent that he has. If he is able to put himself into race winning contention after only having a few hours in the car, what will it be like after a few races? I think Mercedes are going to be playing the long game of Russell, waiting for Hamilton to retire as they know Russell will be able to win the championship. Mercedes don't want another Hamilton vs Rosberg situation and there's every possibility that Russell could replace Bottas and take Hamilton all the way to the title and potentially even take his unofficial number one status that the British driver has. It would be very much like the Leclerc velodynamic of Ferrari and I think Russell could be the fresh spark of the team that could help push him forward even more because surely things may feel they're coming to the dead end having the same driver pairing year in year out with one driver being miles ahead come the end of the season. But that's my thoughts, let me know yours in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye.